Mail Merge, perhaps the original productivity killer app? Hi, this is Wesley Chun from Google, here today to show you how G Suite APIs can help make it happen. A Mail Merge takes values from a spreadsheet or other data source and inserts them into a templated document. You create a single master document, the template, like the form letter you see here, from which you can generate many similar documents, each customized with the data being merged, represented in the template as variable placeholders. In the example here, the variable names are enclosed in double curly braces. Now, the results aren't necessarily used for mail or only form letters, but can be used for any purpose, such as generating a batch of customer invoices. The next ingredient is the data source for all variables. While plain text is perfectly reasonable, this type of relational data is more likely to come from a database or a spreadsheet like the one you see here. The magic happens when you copy the template to produce a deliverable, then replace all the placeholders with real data. So let's do that. All right, first step is to copy the master template. This is clearly a file-oriented operation, so that's what the Google Drive API is for. In this pseudocode you see, you've got a service endpoint to the Drive API, which you use to copy the original form letter via its file ID, naming the copy merged form letter. The API returns the file ID of the new copy. Next, let's pull in some data. Assuming you've got your data in a spreadsheet and you've got a service endpoint to the Google Sheets API, this pseudocode represents how you'd read in the first four columns, say, the name, the title, company, and address. All right, first step, you need the Sheets file ID. Now give the appropriate cell range in A1 notation for columns A through D. The corresponding rows are then returned from the API. Not bad, am I right? All right, the final piece of the puzzle is now possible with the launch of the new Google Docs API. To do the mail merging, issue a search and replace command to the API, like this pseudocode here, which replaces the placeholder variable, in this case, the recipient name with an actual value. In real life, you'd put together an array of such requests for all placeholders, then send the entire load to the API at once. Once the mail merge is done, you've got a finished letter or invoice all ready to go. Then lather, rinse, and repeat for each row of data, making new copies for each. Once you're done, you can export the completed documents as PDF, produce and send snail mail, or email them instead. All right, quiz time. Exporting a document as PDF. Is this something for the Docs API or the Drive API? Yes, it's a file operation, so the Drive API is the correct answer. Well, what if you wanted to email the PDF? Well, guess what? That's the Gmail API. Are you getting the hang of how to leverage G Suite APIs now? Well, sending messages with the Gmail API is straightforward. Create the email message, adding any attachments such as your merged form letter PDF. Then use the Gmail API to send that message yourself using the special user ID of me, passing in the message body you created. If you want to see a minimal sample mail merge app, but without the PDF export or email, check out the link in the description below. To wrap up, Mail Merge is a key use case app for word processors and spreadsheets. And thanks to the Docs and other G Suite APIs, this is now easier than ever. This is developer advocate Wesley Chun. Happy mail merging! <laughs>